Hi, Darren Mangum here, securities attorney. Um, today I wanted to talk about the, the recent changes to the EB-5 program authorized by Congress. Uh, Department of Homeland Security has recently updated the um, uh, EB-5 um, EB rules when it comes to the EB-5 visa. Uh, many, of our, many of our clients have taken advantage of the EB-5 visa program in order to attract investment capital. Uh, from foreign investors uh, to do, you know, mostly real estate development type projects uh, or other kind of projects. Um, the, some significant changes have occurred to that program, and uh, I just wanted to highlight some of those key changes, especially if you're still considering using EB-5. And in past years, it's been super widely popular um, uh, way to attract capital, uh, but uh, certainly. Um, you know, that popularity has uh, been a little bit of uncertainty because of the rules uh, we're going to be changing. And certainly um, some of those may have an impact on uh, people that put together EB-5 programs. Um, the most significant uh, changes were that they, um, if the investment, if the investment is being made inside a targeted employment area, uh, basically a high unemployment area or a rural area also um, you know that cap has been raised from it used to be 500,000 uh, or the minimum threshold was 500,000 but now it's uh, going to be raised to 900,000 minimum investment um, and if um, if it's a if it's a, if it's a, inside a um, if it's not if it's in a non TEA if it's outside of a non TEA or um, metropolitan statistical area um, that uh, that threshold has been raised from a million dollars up to uh, 1.8 million dollars um, you know for a lot for probably a wide range of EB5 investors that may not be a big deal but certainly uh, those thresholds are are significant uh, the other big change is that instead of uh, leaving it in the hands of the states to uh, designate uh, what is a target employment area and what's not. Uh, Department of Homeland Security is uh, bringing all that under its own roof. And so you're not going to see a lot of politics going on, I don't think, uh, with respect to gerrymandering borders of targeted employment areas, and which a lot of that went on because obviously some a lot of states wanted to uh, attract uh, investment projects to their state. Uh, now it's uh, going to be centralized with the Department of Homeland Security. They're going to be the ones who designate the areas and largely based upon census uh, tracts. And so um, so that's obviously going to uh, pro probably be a damper on, 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 the, on a lot of uh, developers that have used, um, you know, again, um, uh, politics to uh, gerrymander the different tar targeted employment areas to, you know, favor their development. Uh, but I don't, I don't think it'll be a big, um, you know, long term. I think it, in, the, in the long run, I think it'll make the program a lot more sound. And so, um, the uh, the key date to keep in mind is that uh, November twenty first, two thousand nineteen, um, is the deadline for the current program. Again, the current program is still in effect. As long as the uh, investors get their uh, get their you know their I five twenty nine submitted, if they've invested in the, into the program and then they've submitted their I five twenty nine before this uh, November twenty first deadline, um, then they they're still you know approved under the old program again five five hundred thousand uh, dollar minimum or. Uh, in, if it's inside a TEA or tar target employment area, or if it's outside of that, uh, then or if it's inside a metropolitan statistical area, a high urban area, then it's uh, still a million dollars, at least until November 21st. So anyway, um, again, um, we've you know we've got uh, lots of clients that have done EB-5, uh, EB-5 friendly programs. We certainly structure those quite a bit. Uh, if we can answer any questions uh, about the recent changes, feel free to reach out um, and uh, contact us directly. Uh, anyway, hopefully this update's been helpful and uh, hope to see you on some other videos. Thank you.